Welcome to Protein Science Academy classes, and we are on to question number 10 of exercise 1.1. And we have to give an example of a lesion which is symmetric but neither reflexive nor transitive. So let's consider the first part. And let's consider our set A which has elements 1, 2, and 3. Now let R be the relation that's defined. R be relation on set A on set A and it should only be symmetric. So I'm going to put only one comma two and two comma one in here. So this relation is symmetric, but not neither reflexive nor transitive. So it's not reflexive. It's not reflexive because we do not have one comma one, two comma two, three comma three that belongs to relation R. So they do not belong to relation R. Therefore, R is not reflexive. So it is symmetric because whatever ordered pair we have, we see that 1, 2 belongs to relation R. And if we replace the order, it also belongs to R. That means that R is symmetric. Now, transitive. It's not transitive because we do not have any elements such that a comma b belongs to r or b comma c belongs to r. We do not have any such elements. So we can say that we do not have any such elements on r such that the requirement for this transitive is a comma b belongs to r and then we have b comma c which does not belong to r so this is not transitive okay let's move on to the second example okay for the second part we have to show give an example of a relation which is transitive but neither reflexive nor symmetry so in this case best would be to take any a uh, relation that has the inequality sign. So let's say we have this order pair A, B, where A is greater than B. So now it's not reflexive because a number or an integer or a real number cannot be greater than itself. So we can say that A comma A is a is not greater than a so a comma a does not belongs to r so that means that the relation is not reflexive okay now let's check it for the symmetric now let's say for the symmetric we have this a comma b in relation so this gives a is greater than b so if a is greater than b that means that b is not greater than a b is smaller than a so if b is not greater than a that that means b comma a does not belong to r and if b comma a does not belong to r that means r is not symmetric okay how it is transitive so for transitive and let's say a comma b belongs to relation r so this if a comma b belongs to relation r so this gives us so this belongs to relation r and this gives us a is greater than b and then we have b comma c is belongs to relation r that means b is greater than c so if a is greater than b and b is greater than c that that means a is greater this implies that a is greater than c if a is greater than c that means that a comma c are pair belongs to r and if a comma c belongs to r that means that r is transitive so this is an example of a relation where in the relation is transitive but not reflex but neither reflexive nor symmetric let's move on to the third one okay so for the Third part, that is, we have to give an example where the uh, relation is reflexive and symmetric but not transitive. So let's say the relation is defined on set A, which is has elements 1, 2, and 3. So R is defined on set A and it has elements 1, 1, 
to do so let me make it reflexive now let me make it transitive so i will put only those elements so i put one three and has been one i put one two and has one okay so now we will just focus on the relation r and these elements now this is this is reflexive because it has one comma one two comma two three comma three all these belongs relation r and we know that relation is reflexive when a comma a belongs to r so this has a comma a belongs to r that means r is reflexive now it is symmetric and for symmetric we know that if a comma b belongs to r then if b comma a also belongs to r then the relation is symmetric now this has one comma three it belongs to r and three comma one also belongs to r so the next one is one comma two so one comma two and two comma one both belongs to relation r so that means r is symmetric now it's not transitive because we don't have any elements such that it's not transitive it's not transitive because for transitive we have to show that if a comma b belongs to r and b comma c belongs to r then if a comma c also belongs to r then the relation is transitive but in this case we do not have any such ordered pairs such that so we do have a comma b belongs to r but we do not have b comma c that does not belongs to r so we will not go further so this relation is not positive okay let's move on to the fourth one okay, for the fourth one we have to show that the relation is reflexive and transitive but not symmetric so once again let's consider the relation on set a one two three and uh, deliberately i'm just going to show it for reflexive and transitive but not transit but not symmetric so i'm going to put one comma one two comma two three comma three that will make it reflexive and now i am going to put one comma two with two comma three and also going to put one comma three so that will make it transitive so it's reflexive yes it is reflexive because for the reflexive condition is a comma a belongs to r then the relation is reflexive and in this case we have the relation of one with one two with two three with three so this is this always belong to r therefore r is reflexive now for transitive we don't have any such elements sorry for symmetric we do not have any such elements such that so we have a one two but we do not have two where two one we have two three but do not have three two we have one three but do not have three one so one comma two belongs to r but as you can see two comma one is not in the relation therefore r is not symmetric so it fails for one that it means it fades for the symmetric okay it is transitive because for transitive we have this condition where if a comma b and b comma c both belongs to r then if we are able to show that a comma c belongs to r then r is transitive now in this case it's one comma two that belongs to r two comma three belongs to r and one comma three belongs to r that means r is transitive okay okay so this is transitive not symmetric and reflex so let's say transitive but not symmetric and let's move on to the fifth one okay, for part five we have to show that the relation is symmetric and transitive but not 
reflection. So let's consider our relation of on set A, which has elements one, two, and three. And let R be relation on set A such that R is equal to its symmetric. So one, two, two, one. And now it's one, two, so I will make it two, three, and one, three. So it's one, two, two, three, and one, two. So it's two, one, one, three, and two, three. Okay. So this relation is obviously not reflexive because for reflexive, it should be a comma a that belongs to r but here a comma a does not belong to r because we do not have one comma one two comma one and three comma three they all do not belong to r therefore r is not reflexive so now we have to show that it's symmetric now so this is Symmetric. It is symmetric because one comma two belongs to relation R, and two comma one also belongs to relation R. Therefore, R is symmetric. Now this is. It is transitive because. We have this one, two, two, one, one, two, and two, three. So one, two belongs to R, and two, three belongs to R, and now one, three. So one, three also belongs to R. So one, three belongs to R, therefore, for this, R is transitive. So we do have so other such pairs as well. And it is two one, so two comma one belongs to R. So this is two. Two comma one belongs to R, and one comma three belongs to R, and, and the two comma three also belongs to R. You can check. So it's two comma one, one comma three, and two comma three belongs to R. So that means here also the R is transitive. So this is an example of relation which is symmetric and transitive but not reflexive. So we are done with question number 10 and please do like, share and support us because this is a free support channel. Thank you for watching.